namaste everyone so this is the assignment that was shared yesterday shall go through the <coughs> assignment and then we can discuss it so observe your imagination try to do this all the time every moment for how long does your attention stay on your imagination does your imagination stay on one topic or does it keep shifting from one topic to another if your attention goes somewhere else where does it go what do you pay attention to did you decide the object of attention yourself with awareness or does it seem to be happening without awareness by itself try and observe the desire that is feeling thought and expectation separately in your imagination note down your observations in a journal several times in the course of a day say at least every 4 hours so this is something that we discussed yesterday while concluding step 1 of exercise 1 so we are doing exercise 1 we discussed step 1 at length in exercise 1 we are trying to observe the self i am observing myself as a pure observer and in step 1 of exercise 1 we are just trying to see the imagination as it is without evaluating without judging without reacting without imposing anything without trying to change without modifying just as it is so if there is any sharing regarding the content that we discussed so far or the assignment we also shared that we can make it a task that we observe the imagination after every 4 hours and take a note of it either we can write it or we can just note within oneself so let me ask one question could we decide something like this could we pay attention after every 4 hours 4 hours is not a very kind of stringent rule it means after few limited hours are we able to note down what is going on in the imagination what is my feeling at this point of time if yes then you can respond in the chat box so let us make this a practice for ourselves that we have to keep on observing several times in a day unless i do this several times in a day it will not become a kind of regular observation for me i basically need to be aware every moment not to be aware every moment i have to fix that i have to do this assignment or be observant several times in a day and that is very important yeah if any question any reflection is there many people have shared that yes they have done it nice so in exercise 1 the self is observing the self we are saying that three exercises can be done as a practice one is observing the self by the self which is exercise 1 second is observing the body by the self and that is to say observation of material by the consciousness which is exercise 2 and we <clears throat> we can also observe the coexistence the whole existence as it is that is exercise 3 we are not going to do exercise 3 presently we are going to do exercise 1 and 2 and you can see that there is a lot to be done in exercises in every step the basic purpose behind all these exercises is to ensure that happiness becomes my innate nature i am happy by myself i do not have to fetch happiness from outside or i do not become unhappy at times isn't it so unless happiness is my innate nature my happiness does not continue i become unhappy and then i have to fetch happiness from outside whatever i get from outside is temporary indefinite with no completion point and makes me dependent on something outside and thus i remain enslaved but i become self organized when i am able to awaken to the higher activities of contemplation understanding and realization so we are trying to awaken the higher level activities now contemplation is to see the relationship that is having ensured the naturally acceptable feelings in me and for that i have to be aware of my feeling first if i am aware of my feeling then only i can transform it so in step 1 of exercise 1 what we are saying is that you become aware of the feeling as it is no need to fix anything for yourself no need to judge no need to evaluate no need to criticize no need to react <clears throat> just be as you are and observe as you are isn't it so in some sense it is a very simple exercise you have to be as you are and you have to observe as you are but we are so conditioned to react to judge that many times we are not able to accomplish it simply so that conditioning also gets questioned at times that conditioning also gets evaluated at times that yes i am not able to do it because i am so conditioned to either judge or to react or to do so many things 
isn't it? But it may take some time also. Another thing is that when I go to observe my imagination, I'm not able to make out the desire, thought, and expectation separately. So I need to develop some competence to observe them separately also. So we said that we can start by observing the object of imagination or so to say object of attention. And then we can observe the thought and feeling associated with it. Many times we are not able to observe the feeling as it is. So we can start by observing the object or the thought. And then we can look into the purpose of the thought and then we can make out the feeling. We discussed several issues pertinent to this step one where we face problems. You can add even more issues to the list. That is fine. But essentially we have to be observant. Ji. Naresh Kumar ji. Namaskar sir. Namaskar. Sir, these two words, selecting and testing. In case of house, what is the test? In case of? House. Which activities will come under test? Testing. Okay. See, testing is of three types. One is I am testing the sensation from the body through the five sense organs. Second is testing of feeling. And third is testing of resolution when I feel resolved. Now when you say house, so maybe I am looking at a house. So through my eyes, I am testing the form of the house. So this is testing through sensation. I can even touch the walls of the house with closed eyes. Then I am sensing, I am testing through touch. So this would be there. For any physiochemical activity or physiochemical object, we see that I taste through sensation in this manner. And in case of analyzers at 2 BHK, 3 BHK, it will come in selection also, analyzing also. Nice. Yeah. A very good thing is that you have been attending the morning sessions consistently and listening also very, <laughs> uh, I'll say, attentively. So you remember all the examples also. Yeah. So when you say 3 BHK or 2 BHK house, then I am analyzing various options. Now let us say we are imagining about a house, owning a house. Okay. Now what is my feeling? One possibility is that the feeling is that I will feel secure if I own a house with my family. Isn't it? I feel secure about my family, about myself. So that kind of feeling is there. Now to feel secure, I you know, start analyzing what could be done. So one thing to feel secure is to have a house of my own, isn't it? So I have various options now here. I can purchase a flat or I can purchase land and get a house built on it. And so I, first of all, opt between various options. There could be other options also. I can go back to my parental house and stay there with some refurbishment. That is also possible. So there are, there are various options. Now here again, when I plan to purchase a flat, then I start thinking in terms of purchasing a 2 BHK or 3 BHK or villa, purchasing in this city or that city, in this tower or that tower, in this colony or that colony, with this price or that price, all those options are there. So I keep on comparing between various options and I also keep on analyzing various options. If I go for a villa, then how much will it cost? If it costs this much, then where will I get the loan from? If I purchase a 2 BHK, then I can simply pay by my savings. But will it really suffice for my family or guests? So things like that, I keep on analyzing and comparing. So this is something that is happening at the level of thought. At the level of feeling is that I want to feel secure with my family. What is my natural acceptance here? The natural acceptance is for prosperity. I want to feel prosperous. That I have enough to nurture, to protect and to rightly utilize my body. Sir, dynamic activity will come <clears throat> after static activity. It's not after, it's with. So the dynamic activity and the state activity, both are continuous. So for example, whenever you are analyzing, there is some comparing also going on. So all these activities are continuous. <clears throat> when you are comparing also, then you are selecting options. The selection is also going on. When you are selecting, you are getting some taste also. A 2 BHK, yes. you have a taste of the space inside. Yes. Static means jo uh, isthir hai. not static. It is state. Isthir nahi hai, sthiti hai. Static ka matlab ruk jana. Static nahi hai. It is activity. It is not static. So state and dynamic. If you say in Hindi, it is sthiti and gati. Isthir nahi, sthiti. Sthiti is something more stable. Not stable. Again, I'll say that it is something which gets established in me. For example, 
like you have been staying in a 3 bhk house the taste of staying in a 3 bhk house has got stated in you now you have the taste of that space the facilities in the 3 bhk house if you have been staying in a 2 bhk house then you have a taste of that in a similar manner for example if you have eaten rasgulla you have the taste of that rasgulla stated in you if you have eaten uh, something very spicy that taste gets stated in you so this is something which is there in me and with that i take decisions that decision making is dynamic activity when i am analyzing or when i am selecting or imaging that is dynamic activity but something is stated in me now, for example if you look at the human being so a human being is there and then human being is active with other human beings or the rest of nature so to be is state to participate or to interact is dynamism is that clear bhaiya ji dynamic means happening something both are happening dynamic activity within the self is the decision making that comes with the state activity the dynamic will come within state activity no with state activity i am doing some decision making no so for example you have some taste inside you with that you select to go for this or not to go for rasgulla or gulab jamun both are there in front so you are making some decision here and the taste is already something established within me yes then i will go for the selection yeah not then i say okay. i say with that with that okay. you will go selection okay thank you sir nice bhaiya lipi ji namaste bhaiya namaste everyone so uh, bhaiya I, i want to ask you in uhp2 uh, we are taught about the feelings and that means the feelings start from um, trust and in in love so uh, if um, there is contradiction feelings or undisturbed state it is not defined in the feeling um, in uhv mane whatever we have got so now bhaiya uh, yesterday i have <coughs> an experience that at night i at night i could not uh, sleep say for two and a half uh, hours very undisturbed because my brother's family are coming um, uh, by a flight which is delayed for about 8 hours and then when they have boarded the flight in our hometown there is a storm and i was just thinking that they would be safe when they would be here then there should be no storm the weather should be pleasant like that i was thinking and thinking and at some at uh, after say 5 6 5 10 minutes i am just watching the phone to see the time i am getting up and uh, open the window to see whether the storm has stopped or not so this thing so uh, i ca- i can feel at that time that i have um, <clears throat> love and care guidance also and similarly at the same time i am in the undisturbed state a state of contradiction so how can we define that feeling bhaiya yeah so you have a naturally acceptable feeling for affection for your brother but at the same time you are having multiple preconditionings mm. so those are causing fears yes so you are not clear about the human being maybe or you may not be clear about the rest of nature so we have fears we have doubts so doubt, those doubts and fears are there inside us with that you also have the natural acceptable feeling and that's how there is so much of turmoil in the thought in the imagination so we can be clear about all this see now just try to make out within yourself what do you fear why do you fear what is fear for you try to make it out why do you feel afraid at all now there could be some fear for yourself about your being about your relationship about your happiness and prosperity now the same fear starts applying for relatives also with whom you feel concerned so unless we have the right understanding in completeness there is some fear or the other inside us because we are not resolved we are not clear about reality and those fears start taking over our imagination whenever we try to imagine something for example if i am not able to see that i am not the body i am a conscious entity coexisting with the body i have fear of death i have fear of my discontinuity of existence but once i am able to see that i am a conscious entity which is continuous so i have no fear of my discontinuity when i have no fear of my discontinuity i do not have any fear of the discontinuity of the self of my relative also i am able to see that every self is going to continue and the body is temporary i know and i also know how to nurture my body protect my body right utilize my body so i'll take appropriate steps 
but when i'm going to nurture my body protect my body right to like my body i'm going to interact with the rest of nature and sometimes the situation may be favorable sometimes that may not be that is always there so with that and applying some skills i'll take some action some proactive measures and then ensure that the nurturing protection right utilization takes place rightly and then i'll not have fear so we have to trace within yourself what is fear for you in fact this is a doable exercise let us find out for ourselves what makes me afraid what kind of fears i am carrying within so one could be fear of discontinuity of self or so to say fear of death then fear of lack of uh, loss of respect i may have fear of loss of respect i may have fear of loss of some position in the society or organization so many fears i might be carrying i may have fear of loss of name and fame let us find out because unless i am clear about the fears i am also not able to make out the resolution there and you see that the more we are able to contemplate on the rightly uh, naturally acceptable feelings the more i am able to understand the harmony the fears also come down and gradually vanish away so all of us are living with fears unless we have the right understanding in completeness the fear could also be what is going to happen uh, with this earth with the nature what is going to happen with this existence will it continue or will it collapse one day all those fears might be there we all are living with multiple fears it's only that occasionally and you know, they get triggered by situations for example when there is a storm so it is triggering my fears that i have been carrying within it's only that it is unraveling all those hidden fears hidden feelings in me okay bhaiya thank you nice nice didi any other query any other sharing so this is the assignment that we are doing for exercise 1 step 1 now we can move to the next step adelaide ji is saying what do we mean by the resolution in times of fear of other states what is that fear of other states what does it mean fear or other states uh, that question is not very clear but maybe you can raise hand miss p so resolution essentially means having clarity in my imagination with right understanding right feeling that is resolution so when i am resolved when i will not have fears just that's what i am saying you try to find out what makes you afraid what are the fears that you are carrying within note them down so at the level of expectation you keep on expecting that let it not happen let it not happen at the level of thought you keep on thinking how to not make it happen and at the level of feeling you have that fear nice so in step 1 we are trying to observe the imagination as it is the desire thought and expectation and desire essentially is to see the feeling and the feeling is driving my thought my expectation so we said that observe your feeling and that is a kind of assignment that is going to continue for each one of us of us that we keep on observing the feeling what feeling am i having within you know i have to keep on making out my feeling within and that has to be a continuous exercise with that awareness without any reaction without any evaluation now we are going to evaluate in step 2 so i am evaluating the feeling the thought that i have at this moment is this feeling naturally acceptable to me or not that is to say is it natural for me or not that is to say is it in accordance with human nature or not or in other words would i like the continuity of this feeling or not so now when i am aware of my feeling without any reaction without any evaluation without any judgment without any imposition without any inhibition when i am able to see my real state of imagination then i can gradually evaluate it so first of all i have to observe and then i can go to evaluate it and then i can find out whether my feeling is naturally acceptable to me or not for example fear i have feeling of fear as na uh, lipi ji was sharing now i can find out is this feeling naturally acceptable to me now it may be the case that i may consider it naturally acceptable also because i feel that yes i have affection for my relatives if something happens then i am going to be at a loss so why not have fear about this if i do not have fear maybe i will not bother so maybe like we are not able to exactly evaluate so that's why we have put other ways to evaluate so is it natural for me 
that is is it in accordance with my human nature in other words even if i am not able to make it out clearly then i can find out for myself is it something that i would like to continue with so would i like to continue with fear so these are various tests so i can ask myself whether it is naturally acceptable to me whether it is it my innate nature whether i would like to continue with it with all this we can try to evaluate now and you can see that in step 1 we are saying do not evaluate and just in step 2 we are saying now evaluate why is that so because when i start by evaluating and i am not clear of my feeling then i may not even evaluate or in place of evaluation i may just judge or i may just articulate something i may just react to it i may just stop it, try to stop it try to change it try to modify it do something or the other for example when a patient comes to a doctor right so the patient will first diagnose what is there and then find out what kind of disease it is and what is your bp what is your heart beat and all those things the readings will come and then we say that okay now bp is above normal so you should be taking some measure so first of all we have to be clear about our state I have to be clear about what i am isn't it but since we have so many inclinations inhibitions within us so many fears or doubts conditionings to react within us that we are not able to sustain and we start evaluating at the very first step which is not desirable so in the first step observe it and in the second step you are saying that now try to make out whether it is acceptable to you naturally so for example observe and evaluate when you have the feeling of affection and when you have the feeling of opposition be aware of the feeling at this moment just observe the feeling as it is and simply evaluate it without any reaction make no effort to hold on or to stop any particular feeling or thought just be aware observe the feeling as it is and evaluate it without any reaction do the steps 1 and 2 throughout the day every moment and then write down your observations in your journal say every 4 hours so what we'll do now we'll observe for 10 minutes i do not see any hand raised at the moment we'll observe for 10 minutes and then try to see first of all accomplish step 1 and with that we'll do step 2 so i'll not take up any question or reflection at the moment observe for 10 minutes and then we'll discuss you have to do this step now
nice. If you have any question, any reflection, you can raise your hand and we can discuss. So I have to be aware of my feeling every moment. And I have to be also clear whether the feeling inside me is naturally acceptable to me or not. Aman? Namaste, bhaiya. Namaste. Namaste to all co-explorer. Bhaiya, while observing the feeling within me, mostly uh, if anything uh, that is not naturally accepted that comes on its own is a feeling of a disappointment. Um, disappointment as in uh, in terms of lack of understanding about this um, whole existence, lack of understanding about the right feeling to have um, at most of the moment. Is there anything that, because uh, obviously uh, that's not related to anyone else. I still uh, have a feeling of relationship. I still have a feeling of uh, trust and respect for others. But when it comes to myself, now there's a new desire developing that uh, I need, um, that I want to be calm and peace uh, throughout the day. So when uh, then when ca- when I can't achieve that, this feeling comes up that I uh, have that disappointment in myself. Um, most of the time when I'm sitting with myself, I could able to uh, resolve within that, okay, um, I'm working on it, I'm doing the workshop, uh, and it will take time due to the lack of competence. But it still stays with me. Is there anything, because this desire is, uh, I, I feel like it's not naturally accepted to me. Does that make sense for you? Basically, you are <clears throat> expecting things to happen. And this becomes a retardation for us. So we start expecting that let this happen and this in this much time, with this much of effort. And then if it is not getting fulfilled, we feel disappointed. And with that disappointment, we even do not make any further effort. So the thing that is to be done is to observe as you are, to accept as you are. Okay. Yes. In it could be the case that you are not able to accept your current state. Mm-hmm. And you see that when you start accepting, you are able to see that my condition may be, for example, much worse than what I am expecting. But I am not able to accept it, and then I am trying to put a kind of very glossy picture of myself to myself. And then I'm expecting that let this happen with this much of effort, which is not working. In fact, you have that innate faculty of natural acceptance. You are innately a pure observer. That innate faculty is not able to emerge when we start working at the level of expectation. It somewhat inhibits because you are expecting something. It is not getting fulfilled. Then I am stopping something and not even putting effort in the right direction. In place of that, if you start just being aware of what you are and also start being aware of a natural acceptance, then you also start accepting naturally your current state and the effort that you have to make and the time that it may take. And then you are not restless also for the outcome because you are able to see that this much of whole effort is still due. Yeah. Isn't it? Yes, that yes. acceptance is very important. Unless you accept it, you are not able to make your sincere effort. And you'll see that when we just expect things to happen and the expectation is not met, then we get disappointed and we waste hours. We may waste hours entertaining ourselves or trying to avoid our you know, uh, observation of the current state, trying to shut off from our observation because we are highly disappointed. Mm-hmm. And it is also a common assumption that if I make efforts for few hours, few days, few months, then this whole thing is going to happen. So I'll just give an information that this is not so. To come to the state of realization, we have to make sincere effort and that effort has to be there every moment. And with that, and we have to have some competence also. Otherwise, it is not going to happen also. See, if coming to the state of realization was so simple, so we can see that <laughs> so many people are trying to work for understanding, it would have been accomplished. You just yeah. see that when you have to contemplate on the feeling of trust, how much time is it taking? Yes, for you. When, when you are trying to contemplate on trust, you know, so before asking question 4A, ask question 2A to yourself. Do you want to make the other happy? And that may not be the case that you are able to see this clearly. So 
if you just start working on your observation step by step without jumping that idea or that conditioning of jumping to the outcome jumping to the you know finishing stage without doing our basic work is very common because you see that yeah. we are mostly active at the level of expectation i have done some effort now let it happen in fact you will see that if i start working for right understanding i am not any time restless also for some with some expectation for some outcome i can see the process now i am there into the process and let things emerge my role is to undergo that process now once i am in the process things will naturally emerge and then you will be able to see that we have been carrying so many conditionings that we are not even calling as conditioning always motivated by some test in place of test now i have to be motivated by my natural acceptance now this right understanding also becomes a kind of test for me oh let it happen and then i will enjoy it. right life is going to be full of excitement this right understanding what a beautiful thing it is <laughs> things like that <laughs> might be occurring in my imagination you know everything everybody yes, is coming and touching my feet everybody is taking my name everybody <laughs> remembers me <laughs> may could be the case uh, that i have experienced some of the situation where i have responded then reacting in the past and i i could see that the state of mind that i um achieved something better outcome in any situation but then when the lack of awareness happened um uh, i i go back to my previous preconditioning and then i try to fetch the same experience again and that's when the disappointment comes up what we are calling as response at the moment you know mm-hmm. that also gets gradually qualitatively transformed because our response at the moment is with lack of right understanding only so lack of reaction is sometimes what we call as response so if i'm not reacting i feel that i'm responding but actually if you see response in completeness would be there with realization then only i can respond in completeness otherwise partly it is response partly it is reaction partly it is ignorance all those things are mixed up so earlier i used to shout now i do not shout now not shouting is something that i am calling as response which may not be true yes bhai yeah, i understand that yeah to to sum up bhai yeah, so i have to accept myself and then um accept my competence level and then very move important. forward to that yes yes it's very important unless you accept you keep on reacting oh i am not like this i cannot be like this let it not be like this and you know? i try to avoid myself how i can be so bad and you know? or i have been spending so many years how can my state be like this only after so much effort then not leading anywhere this whole exercise is not leading anywhere and then i may also feel that this size of waste it is not taking me anywhere <laughs> so and these are all reactions because you are trying to taste something from outside yes bhai thank you for your answer bhai nice bhaiya nirupam ji namaste bhaiya namaste bhaiya i am coming to this feeling part uh whenever i do say that i am often being misunderstood then uh, if i am getting misunderstood by the rest of the world it doesn't affect me but i think there is some inner circle of my life where if i get misunderstood then it affects me uh, but uh, later on i i can means i found out but if whatever i am telling this inner circle na then I, i think it is some kind of my clingingness that i i am seeking external validation from this my inner circle and if i am i am uh, not getting external validation then it's affecting me so we I, my question is how to exercise detachment in this inner circle also if see if you have not included one option that you are misunderstanding yourself also see it's not that my inner circle misunderstands me or the outer circle misunderstands me i do have to accept that i also may misunderstand myself because i am not yes, rightly understanding myself give me yeah. okay okay yes for sure hmm. so i have to work for that part when i am trying to look at the evaluation made by others my uh, observation is outside 
and then i am somewhat reacting they accept mm. i react in one manner if they reject i accept in i react in another manner so initially i feel disturbed and then i have feeling that let them go to hell how do they matter you know it's my life <laughs> so <laughs> isn't it so first of all try to accept that you also do not understand or may not understand yourself at times yes way this is the truth i am trying to understand myself i know that this is the constant and this is the thing which i have to solve it out i know that yeah. so when we are doing exercise one step one essentially we are trying to be aware of the current state of imagination first what is your yeah. current level of competence mm. so first of all observe it you know and then you can see that in fact the world is not aware of my actual level of competence because Wait, not everything i am not aware of how world will be aware give me please no i am saying that my actual state may be much worse than the world looks at it yes definitely my true bilkul so Jee i have bhai. to see this and i have to accept this Jee the bhai. kind of ill feeling that i may get the kind of depressing mm. thoughts i may get okay or whatever may occur in my imagination may not be known to the world outside but that is there in me yes ma'am and Different. somewhat i have started saying to me that okay let this be this continues i am a human being i am a normal human being you know so what we also do and this is not accepting this is somewhat reconciling we try to reconcile with the current state somehow or the other but if somebody points it out i feel offended uh, it, okay, okay i got it bhaiya yeah. i have to work out on this part be, if i am being shown the mirror evaluate myself in a better way okay thank you thanks nice nice ji arunachalam ji i went to the road uh, even the two wheeler i unable to i am in the 20 km speed only but others are being the lot of disturbance in the high speed and the road taking here zigzag movement but in my side i want to be in control state but uh, i unable to control others how is it improve the society why do you want to control others but i want to be perfect i want to be safe in my area are we yeah, but... others are yeah, not so you want to feel safe essentially you want to feel safe isn't it so to feel safe you feel that they should not be driving like this in a zigzag manner at such high speeds nice but if you are getting some opposition for them then it is lack of my right understanding lack of my right feeling with right understanding i can see that yes these people are excited right? and thus they are not behaving responsibly they lack right understanding so i need to make a the right program for that so i have this clear vision in me i will not feel disturbed because of their action but i can decide my response there it may be the case that you are driving too slow like 20 km per hour maybe at on the highway may not be the right speed you may even drive at 60 80 km per hour and it may be the case that many of them are driving naturally you know or let's say the speed that is acceptable on highways so they are not at fault and there could be some people who are driving at 120 140 or driving in a very casual manner all those things could be there so i'll rightly evaluate myself also i will rightly evaluate themselves also and decide for complementarity while driving i can always accept that other may be a, other may commit mistakes let me not commit any mistake and then we will see that you never somewhat i will say you never ever make any or enter into some accident or something because you are able to see that other may be lacking competence in general so you do not enter into any such situation so you rightly evaluate well yourself you make the right program for yourself and you accept that the other may commit mistakes so you are ca- careful about that and you do not carry any opposition also within you when the other is not driving uh, responsibly this is the program that you can make so you have to evaluate yourself also rightly whether your speed is okay on the highway or the expressway or the you know road that you are driving and you can evaluate others also and see what would be complimentary nice or not yes. yes thank you i uh, understood but uh, i want to improve the society here you actually uh, 
we have mentioned the point others also make happy that so why you that's why we are working for education see <clears throat> that's why we are working for education yesterday when i was coming from office i could see that one person one boy was driving a very costly car a seven seater car and he had opened the door by the side of the steering wheel and then just extending his hand to his friends right others were being careful that let this person not commit some mistake to such, such an extent that he also dies on the road and others also are you know, injured but we can see that yes this person has got so much of wealth from his father or somewhere right and he does not have the right education so he is going to be excited and that's how he doing all this so we are able to see that yes this problem is there and we are also able to see the problem the reason behind this problem right and that is going to be common with every human being if some person gets a lot of wealth without any effort then what will he do with the wealth he will go for indulgence he will go for show off he will go for sensual pleasures so this is going to happen we are able to see very clearly and that's how we have to develop the right understanding in the people so that they are able to right utilize the wealth so that program is always clear with right understanding i am always resolved isn't it now if the mistake is beyond the limit then we can also file some complaint or we can call some number so that everybody on the road is safe that is also possible or if time permits then we can get in dialogue with the other person and just try to let him or her understand that you know, this is not the right way to drive nowadays we see very strong you know very uh, strange things i could see that one lady was parking the car on the road <laughs> and just chatting and everybody was moving gradually by her side this lady was completely unaware what she is doing so all this may happen with lack of competence with lack of right understanding nice bhaiya it is time now thank you thank you thank you yeah thank you kumar bhaiya for this enriching session today